Hey, pretty girl, handsome boy, it's sunny today. My name is Masha and I'm from Russia. Today I'm going to speak about my great experience of searching what interesting I can do here. Before I decided to came to Crete, I've read that it's the best place in the Europe for windsurfing. You, you can imagine how windy it's here. Uh, so, I was hoping to try windsurfing this year. Uh, we came to the closest beach, uh, to the closest spot in six kilometers of Heracleon, where we stayed, and uh, we searched for the school. The owner of the school said to us that she sold out all stuff of windsurfing just because wind has changed several years ago, and it's impossible for beginners to windsurf here anymore. We were so upset. So she suggested us to visit other places and wished us good luck in searching. 20-30 kilometers left gave me opportunity to try wakeboarding in the sea. Fortunately, I tried wakeboarding in my hometown one month ago, so I can compare wakeboarding in the sea and in the river. And I can say it's incredible, difficult, waves were everywhere. I was able to wake, to ride a wakeboard only for five minutes and then I, my arms were so tired, my legs were so tired, I did not want to continue. It is, it's an incredibly expensive activity. Ten minutes costs 30 euros. Uh, one less surf lesson in my favorite Portugal costs 25 euros per two hours. So I did it and I am proud of myself, but there was no windsurf again. We did not give up and uh, we searched uh, windsurfing till Balas Beach, uh, so it's about 150 kilometers. There was uh, no, sur no windsurf school anywhere. I don't know, maybe it was the wrong day or maybe nobody wanted to windsurf in that day but we did not find anybody on the windsurf uh, till the whole west beach from Heracleon to Ballas beach. If you want to visit Crete for the first time, you should know that the road to Ballas beach and lagoon may take so one or two hours longer than you think just because of the last 10 kilometers the road there is awful and the last two kilometers you should walk so everybody comes there to relax in for the whole day on the beach and there, there are no winter it was our first day in the Crete and the second day we started again from the search and windsurfing uh, to the east side of the island. Uh, first beach was empty, uh, no windsurf again. <laughs> um, but on the second one we finally found one, uh, one company which provided uh, windsurf. But at that day there was no wind. Uh, that is, and we were tired after wakeboarding previous day, so we decided to try subboarding. Subboarding. Uh, it was not my first attempt of subboarding. Uh, first of uh, time I tried it in Spain, and it was so beautiful, relaxing, amazing. After the whole day of uh, driving. Uh, views were very picturesque, just to look at me, and I know that it's become popular in Russia. For example, one girl organized morning boardings in the center of St. Petersburg. There are lots of channels, like Venice, and they paddle there. It's awesome. I want to do it someday. So, right below, what uh, did you try? Uh, wakeboarding or windsurfing and where did you try it? Uh, press like if you liked my video and hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos in the future. See you, bye bye! <laughs>